Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we are going to calculate sine of i. Euler's formula says e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. And from here, we are in the complex world, and I want to isolate sine theta. But how can I make that happen, though? Well, you can plug in whatever you want in theta, and I will plug in negative theta into the theta here. So it looks like we have e to the negative i theta like this. And when you plug in negative i theta into cosine, because cosine is an even function, even in the complex world, so cosine of negative theta is still the same as cosine of positive theta. Similarly, sine theta, because sine is an odd function, when you plug in negative theta in here, you can take that negative out, so you get negative i sine theta, like that, okay? And what can we do? Oh, I want to find sine. I am not going to add this equations up because otherwise I will get rid of the sine, that's no good. I am going to subtract the equations, maybe from here to here, right? So I will subtract the equation, and you will see that on the left-hand side, we get e to the i theta minus e to the negative i theta like this, and cosine theta minus cosine theta, of course, they are gone, and we have this minus minus becomes positive, so we have plus 2i times sine theta. So from here, of course, we can just divide by 2i on both sides. In another word, we get sine theta equals e to the i theta minus e to the negative i theta divided by 2i. And that's the complex definition of sine theta. Well, well, I need to get uh, the i in there. So all I have to do is just plug in i into theta. So I will just do that right here then. Sine of i, just put i here, and you get e to the i times i, because theta is i, and then minus e to the negative i times i, and then divided by 2i. So let's see what do we get. Negative 1 here, so we have e to the negative 1, and then negative 1 times uh, negative is positive 1, so we have e to the negative 1 minus e to the first power, divided by 2i. As you guys know, I don't like to be on the bottom, right? So let me multiply the top and bottom by i. So I'll do this like this, and I'll do it like that. Well, well, we see that this is going to be negative 1 half. I'll just put it down like this. And then here we have e to the negative 1 minus e, and then you have the i like that. And in fact, this is what you can do. I'll just put this down right here for you guys. You can distribute this negative, right? You can distribute this negative. So when you do negative times negative, it becomes positive e. Negative times that is minus e to the negative 1. And then perhaps I'll put down the over 2 here. So this is the coefficient of the i. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you guys can do that. Or this right here should also, you, know, you should recognize this if you have been watching my videos. This right here is the hyperbolic sine function, right? So it's a sinh function when you plug in 1 in it. So this is sinh of 1, and you have the i on the outside. Or if you don't like the hyperbolic sinh function, you can just use a calculator. And if you do that, you get approximately 1.175, right? Approximately speaking. So what is sine of i, depending on which one that you want? So perhaps just to impress you guys, I'll just write this down, right? Sinh of 1 times i. So this is kind of cool. Uh, i, like that. Yeah. So I'll just box this. That's it.